Hi folks. I have this impact driver. This particular one's a Mastercraft. You can see the tips it comes with. I'm not sure how many people are going to know what this is. And neither am I sure of how good the quality of the video is being made right now. Anyway, there's two flatheads, standards, and two Robertsons. Nope, Phillips, sorry. I'm looking through the camera screen and I'm having a hard time seeing it myself. So two Phillips and two flatheads and this one here. Comes with a socket. And the ends go in the end of the socket. So here is the impact driver. A friend of mine gave this to me, but it wasn't working properly. So I took it apart and I thought, well, maybe everybody else will want to see what's inside one of these. So I'm going to show basically inside one and how they work. Here's the, the main end. You can see those grooves. goes down this way and it goes down that way well the reason why it goes down each way is for the left and for the right impact driving so when it gets impacted with a hammer which on this end here gets whacked with a hammer creates this to either spin this way or this way so either clockwise or counterclockwise and how it works is like this you can see there's a hole there and there's a hole there see if I can get this to stand up straight relatively straight there it is so a spring goes inside here like so and then this portion here goes inside here like so and you'll see here when I squeeze this down A little ball bearing would drop into that groove. I can't squeeze it quite with my thumb enough to show you. It's a little bit tough of a spring. But a ball bearing would go into this hole, into those grooves there, and on the other side as well, into this hole, and into them grooves. And then the cap goes on top, slides over, like so. And then this clip holds everything in place. And these are the ball bearings that get dropped inside. So the wrist was broken. And what was wrong with it is these little ball bearings were completely pulverized. There wasn't any ball bearings left. So I found some ball bearings. That work well. They're the same size. That fit into them slots. And then the idea... is when you whack this with a hammer and you have the other end this end into the screw it's a big screw as you can tell this is a big big Phillips so that's on the screw and this is upright like so this is whack with a hammer this portion here as it's being whacked is either going to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise depending on what side that little ball bearings on so it's meant for tightening up or loosening up it just gives a little turn so the idea is is to hand tighten it as much as you can and if you need to go tighter than the hand can produce this is where this tool comes in handy you set this in the right place you whack the other side of this with a hammer and this here will actually tighten it up to go tighter and the opposite way takes effect when you want to loosen it and you can't loosen it with the hand when this is on the loosening side 
Same idea, you whack it with a hammer and this will loosen it a little bit. Just a little bit, it only turns a little bit. Just enough that it frees it up, that you're able to use your hand and loosen it the rest of the way. So I won't film putting this all back together, but they're a pretty simple tool and they work well and they're very handy and they're called an impact driver. So if you ever run into them moments where you need such a thing, they're called impact driver. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not. And thank you very much for those that already have.